Caterer Lauren Moser from Al Cuisine started hosting dinner parties mm -hmm. in university, but being a student means the meals had to be low cost but delicious. We asked her to cook up one of her crowd pleasing recipes for us. Take a look. First, we are going to take our baby back ribs, which you can find in most grocery stores. We're going to start with our brown sugar, quarter cup, quarter cup of salt, kosher salt's preferred, but any salt works, quarter cup of celery seed, quarter cup of oregano. Eighth of a cup each of onion powder and garlic powder. You can either use smoked paprika or paprika. It's your choice. Actually, what distinguishes a Texas style rub is cracked black pepper, so you cannot forget the pepper. Now, what you want to do is just generously put it over your ribs. So there's a reason they call it a rub. It's because you really need to rub it into the meat so that the flavor fully gets into every crevice. So next step is to put your ribs into a roasting pan upside down. You want the ribs to sort of baste in their own fat. And then you wanna add about a cup to a cup and a half of chicken broth or apple juice or even water. Um, it's really not a big deal what you use, um, but this is just so that the ribs steam rather than roast um, and that will keep them super moist and it'll make sure that they're fall off the bone tender once you bring them out of the oven. I'm gonna start the oven at 425 just to get them to temp and then we're gonna reduce the oven, um, or lower the oven to about 225, um, and leave them in there for three to four hours, depending. If you are in a rush, you can bring the temp up to 325, 350, and then they should be done in about an hour and a half to two hours. 